Hello YouTube, this video is an introduction to BreadText, the terminal-based text editor that I have been working on and using for the past year. BreadText is largely inspired by Vim and is compatible with both macOS and Linux. I expect that the viewer of this video should have some terminal experience, or else you might be a bit confused. Let's start by cloning the BreadText repository, and we'll cd into it. We'll perform make and sudo make install. Now if we type bread text, it will invoke the executable. I like to create a soft link so that if I type bt, it performs the same action. Let's create a new document in bread text called test.js. When we open bread text, you'll see that the cursor is in the top left, the line number is in the bottom right, and the current mode is in the bottom left. Bread text starts up in command mode, where each keystroke performs a specific operation. If we want to enter text into the document, we press T to enter text entry mode, and then we can type as normal. As you can see, BreadText has language-specific syntax highlighting. If we want to exit text entry mode, we can press escape, or we can press comma twice. To save, we press S, and to quit, we press Q. We can use the cat command to view the contents of the document we just created. Let's open the same document again and make a modification. If we try to quit without saving, BreadText will warn us that there are unsaved changes. If we press Shift plus Q, BreadText will quit anyway without saving. As with any good text editor, BreadText features undo and redo support. So if we type 1, 2, 3, we can undo that by pressing U, and we can redo by pressing Shift plus U. There are various ways to select text in bread text. The simplest way is to press H and then use the arrow keys. You can also select the word under the cursor by pressing W. And you can select entire lines by pressing Shift plus H. Bread text uses the system-wide clipboard by default. To copy the current selection, press C, and to paste, press P. You can paste the same text outside of bread text because bread text uses the system-wide clipboard. In a similar fashion, if you copy text outside of bread text, you can paste it back into bread text. There are certain operations that are invoked by typing a string of text. To do this, first type slash, and then type the command. For example, the version command prints the current version of the text editor. Suppose that we have a block of text that we want to search through, like this one, for example. We can use the find command to find all instances of three Bs in a row, and then use the N key to find the next instance and shift plus n to find the previous instance. Bread text can also search for regular expressions. For example, we can search for a letter b followed by a digit followed by the letter b again. And we can use the n key in a similar fashion. There are various ways to manipulate text in bread text. We can indent a single line by pressing tab, and we can unindent by pressing shift plus tab. This works for selections as well. We can toggle the semicolon at the end of the current line by pressing semicolon. We can toggle a line comment by pressing colon. 
we can change the case of a selection with the B key. We can increment a number by pressing plus, decrement it by pressing minus, and we can toggle the value of a Boolean literal by pressing underscore. BreadText has support for macros so that you can record your keystrokes and perform them later. For example, if we have a console.log command that we want to repeat with a different number each time, we can start recording a macro by pressing Shift plus M. Then we can perform our keystrokes. And then we can press Shift plus M again to finish the macro. If we want to invoke the macro, we can just press M as many times as we want. BreadText also features scriptability through the manner of BreadText scripting language. BreadText searches for a special file in your home directory, which is called breadtextrc.btsl. Any BreadText scripting language code you put here will be executed as soon as a BreadText instance starts up. So if we put notify user, hello world, the message hello world will appear anytime we open BreadText. As you can see in the bottom left, the message is displayed here. Of course, you can do more complicated things with BreadText scripting language. For example, I have a demo script here so that it first creates a function called myBinding, which when invoked will get the contents of the selection, convert it to a number, and then display the number divided by four. It then binds this function to the key seven so that whenever the key seven is pressed, it will execute the function. So let's go back to our original document and we'll write out some numbers. 12, 400, and 1,000. Now that we have the script loaded, if we select a number and press seven, it will display that number divided by four in the bottom left-hand corner. That's all I have to show for now. If you're interested in bread text, you can see more information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.